Good day. This is Rousby Wolf with my Minecraft ra Railroad tutorial series. This will be episode number one, where I teach the basics of laying down track and providing a means of locomotion for your minecarts. Now, before I get started on actually talking about the railroad, I want to talk about my philosophy of railroad building inside the Minecraft universe. As a child, before video games, I was a fan of model railroads, in which we'd build plywood tables in our garage or basements, and build, lay out our railroad, and then around it we would put toothpick forests or balsa wood houses, we'd paint roads and put our little model, our metal cars on the roads, or build paper mache mountains with tunnels in them. So I was thrilled a couple of years ago when my son introduced me to Minecraft. And I was thrilled to see the minecarts and the railroad system, and I could revisit my youth only in a much more creative environment where changing things and modifying and adding all kinds of neat features to my railroad were much easier than before when we were using actual physical models. In my railroads here in Minecraft, one of the things I always strive to do is to make my railroad work automatically so that the cart will go around the track continuously without a rider. Uh, well, not an empty cart, but I'll use like a uh, ore cart or something that has enough mass to make it around the track empty. And it could run for days, and it would always go around the track without, without any interruption because it doesn't require any input from the rider. So this is the philosophy by which I will teach you to build railroads in Minecraft is a continuous loop where all functions happen every time you come around. The other philosophy of railroads is never stop improving. The beauty of Minecraft, it is so easy to knock out old rail and put in new rail to add a new feature, add a house or a building or a railroad station, add some creatures to your landscape, add some trees, shoot, add mountains, add tunnels, add mines. So the world is limited only by your imagination. So without further ado, let's hop out of the train here, and let me get rid of it, and I am going to fly over to what I call my test island, where I test new ideas before I actually implement them on our railroad, and this will also be the area where we learn to build railroads. Now this flying feature is very important. I am in, obviously, creative mode. And what creative mode, for those of you who are new to Minecraft, means. Creative mode means that when you bring up the inventory, the inventory is full of everything that you can find in the world. If you're in a survival mode, you can't have a steel railroad until you iron, mine iron ore. And you can only get as many railroad tracks as you have iron ore to mine. I, If you want to do that, that is, uh, I could definitely see the fun in it. But for me, I just like to build the railroad. So I go into creative mode, in which case, when I bring up my inventory, everything is already available to me in unlimited quantities. So let me go back on that, and let's discuss that quickly. For those of you who are new to Minecraft, the E key on your keyboard brings up your inventory. And you have tabs from, as you can see, they're marked here, building blocks, decorations, redstone and transportation we're going to be the redstone is a little difficult to understand we actually will be working with redstone we'll be doing a lot of work obviously with rails and we'll need blocks so that we can build mountains or tear down mountains or build tunnels or whatever the things are that we want and then decorations will we will use to en enhance our environment now if you notice there's um, 
There are nine blocks here, and those nine blocks are duplicated here on your screen. So whatever you load these nine blocks with, that's what you'll have available to you at the bottom of your screen. So what we're going to do is I prefer to work in stone. So I'm going to have a stone block, and then I like my grass blocks since we're going to be working over grass. Anytime I accidentally dig a hole, I can fill it in immediately. On our tracks, the first three tracks we're going on is the regular rail here. Left click it, left click it in one of these blocks. We're going to need a powered rail. Left click it, left click the block. And we may be using a detector rail, maybe not today, but certainly in the future. And we're going to put, and this is what I call a button rail. We're gonna put that there as well. Now, we'll need a mine cart because once you build your creation, you're going to wanna to ride in it to make sure that it actually works. So I'm gonna put an empty mine cart here, and then I'm going to put a Oh, uh, let's see. Let's take this one. A mine cart with hopper we're going to put next to it. And there, I'll explain the reason for the two different mine carts later. All right. And here we have a redstone torch. And for the redstone right now, the torch is the only thing that we're going to use for this starting lesson. Now, to get out of inventory, either press the E key or you can press the escape key. Either way, we'll take you out of the inventory and back into your game. All right, the mouse wheel, notice if you look at the bottom of the screen, you see the frame is moving along the items that I put into the inventory screen. So, and also, whichever item is highlighted, like right now I'm highlighting a rail, you'll notice there's a rail in the bottom right of the screen. So if I left click on the ground, it will put a rail on the ground. And if I left click the ground again, it'll put a rail in the ground. Now, if I right click, uh, I, I did that totally backwards. I'm gonna back up here for a minute. If I right click, since it's in my right hand, it will put the rails on the ground. If I left click, it will tear them up. If I left click on bare ground, it will put a hole. Now I'm gonna scroll over to grass block and I'm going to right click and it will fill that hole in. Now for those of you who are experienced with Minecraft, this is all old hat. So. Let's build a simple railroad. So what we're going to do is I'm going to put a track on the ground. Now notice the track moved away from me. If I turn 90 degrees, the track moves away from me, no matter how I turn. Now it only moves on the 90s. There's no way to put a track diagonally at 45. Okay, let me bust these up. They move away from you. Now here's an exception to that. Even though I'm putting this one here, you would expect it to look parallel, but when I right click, oh, what it does is it turns the track next to it to cre create a continuous track. Right? Now it won't do it. If I put one here, it's going to go away from me. Oh, see, because that's already a continuous track. It's not going to interfere. If I put one moment next to it, yeah, there we are. Now we have it. Now, how do we make a corner? Since the only track I seem to have available to me, everywhere I put a track, it's always a straight piece of track. But if I come up here and put it at the last piece, if I put it in the middle, it's just going to be a that. But if I put it on the last piece, do you see it made a corner? And we're going to do that here as well. See it made a corner? All right. And if I put one, let's see, if I put one here, oh, it made another corner. So simply putting track at the end of track off to the side will make your corners. Now, if I put a track here at the end, even if it's sideways, it'll just continue the track. No matter which direction I lay it, it'll always be a continuous loop. So I'm going to break that one, and I'm going to put a corner there. And whoops, I don't want to put that one there. I want to put this here, and I'm going to do this. And there we are our first railroad. It is a complete loop. And like I say, my philosophy of railroad is you always build railroads in loops that will run continuously. Now, let's talk about putting a cart on the track. I'm going to scroll over to the last where it says mine cart, and I'm going to right click. You see the box there? It's on the track. If I try to put a cart here on the grass, see I'm right clicking, but nothing's happening. If you can't hear the clicks, but click, 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 click. No mine cart. But if I put it on the track, boom, there's a mine cart. Like if I put a if I put a piece of track here and there's a mine cart, right? But if there's no piece of track, I can click all day and no mine cart. 
So the mine cart's on the track. Now it's sitting here and I can bump into it and it'll move away from me, but that's about it. If you want to sit in your mine cart, you right click the mine cart. Now you're in it. Now I can push the W key. Right now I'm holding the W key down and my mine cart wanders around my track with the W key. Right? And tracks work in both directions. So I'm going to turn around, push my W key, come to a stop, and now I start going back in the other direction. All right. Okay, but this is annoying. I have to hold this W key down because if I release the double key, W key, the cart will slowly grind to a halt. Um, very slowly. All right. All right. You can see that it's slowing down and it will eventually come to a halt. So what we need, because what I like to do is have my, my railroads run automatically. I'm going to hop out of the cart and to do this on your keyboard, on the left hand side of your keyboard, hit the shift button and you will go outside of your cart. If you want to get rid of your cart, just left click it. Cart is gone. Now what we are going to do now, we've been able to lay track and we've made a few corners. We got a nice little loop. What we're going to do is we're going to take out one piece of track and we're going to come over here to see where it says powered rail. And we're going to put that next on it. The powered rail has these yellow rails and these red. Now, the powered rail <laughs> doesn't have any power. Watch what happens. I'm going to put a mine cart on it. I'm going to hop inside and I'm going to go. And er, wait, the ground to a halt. That didn't do me any good. So an unpowered power rail actually stops the cart. Now to put power on it, and this is why I got a redstone torch. I'm going to put a redstone torch here next to it. And notice it lit up. You see how the power whale, and it's not just the light from the torch. It actually uh, turned bright yellow and bright red. So if you get rid of the torch by left clicking on it, making it go away, see that it goes back to the dull red. Now it's bright. So watch what happens. I'm going to put a cart on the track. I'm going to jump in by right clicking on the cart. I jump into it. Hit the W key to get myself going a little bit. All right, now I'm letting go of the W key. When I hit the power rail, you see me accelerate? And now I'm not holding the W key. It's actually going around pretty darn fast. And this one piece of power rail is keeping me going. Now there are railroad builders who build with nothing but power rail. Because if you put a power rail next to an already powered power rail, it will power up too. So one redstone torch, you could power up an entire line of power rails. But that to me destroys the illusion of the model railroad track because model railroad tracks didn't have glowing red and yellow tracks. They had the wooden ties with the iron rails. So to get out of the cart, I'm going to hit the left shift key and I jump out. And now the cart goes around until it stops. It'll go a little bit further. Notice if I'm not sitting in the cart, it doesn't go very far. So I'm going to get rid of it. And this is where, when you're building a railroad, it comes handy to put a hopper car on the track. Now notice it's got that drift. The hopper car has a mathematical mass that's equal to a rider in it. So the hopper car will now go around the track all by itself as if it's the rider mine cart, the one that I was sitting in earlier. In this way, you can test out the features of your track to see if it's behaving the way that you wanted it to. Now watch what happens when I turn off the power rail. It stops it. All right. So let's put the uh, red torch back on. Let's give it a push. And off it goes. Now here's something else I'm going to do. I'm going to stop it this time. I get in front of it. Notice, now it's going back the other way. Whichever way you push it, that is the direction your track is going to run. Because power rails don't care which direction it goes over it. If you push it one direction, it's going to go. Now this is not going to be true. As we get into more advanced features of Minecraft railroads, uh, we are going to build things into our railroad that only work in one direction. 
Therefore, you're going to want to pick a direction on your railroad and stick with it. But we'll get to that more later. And to get rid of your cart, you just left click it and it disappears. All right, let's now, uh, I'm going to take up some of this track, not all of it. And uh, I don't know what happened there. Let's see, that was just, 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 okay, let's get rid of some of this. And what we're going to do is I'm going to talk about the other method of propulsion. So we just discussed um, we just discussed using a redstone power rail, but you can also use in Minecraft, you can use gravity. So let's, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to, uh, there's this little mountain here in the middle of my construction area. I'm going to put some uh, regular rail here on the top of the mountain. Now notice as I'm coming down the mountain, here we go, and I'm just going to run it out straight. Notice there's no power rail here anywhere. Let's go, let's, let's fly. Let's go up. By the way, when you're flying, for those of you who are new to it, when you're flying, if you double tap your space bar, you will jump into the air like Superman. And then if you hold down your space bar, you go up. And then if you hold down your left shift, you will come down. So up, space bar, down, left shift. All right, and you will need this because when you're running around building your railroads, flying makes everything a heck of a lot easier. And I also want you to notice that when I built this, let's talk about it right now. When I built this downward ramp, all of this was done at only one block intervals. So see, here's a, there's, a, there's a railroad up here. And if I put a track on the block, one block down from it, it does this jump where it, it tilts up at a 45 degree. If it's two blocks down, Notice it lays flat. So two blocks, you do not create a ramp. The only way you can create a ramp is to have a single block step down. So let's go up. Let's get our rail, 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 rail. I'm not doing anything special here. I'm just laying the rail as if I were putting it. If I were putting it out here, it's fine. If I put it there, I'm just right click right click it's the contour of the ta the terrain that defines the angle of the rails coming down the hill now what i'm going to do is i'm going to put my hopper uh let's see let's get my hopper right click and sit inside of it and then push the w key a little bit and down i go and then i run out of track and just run into the ground hit left click takes you out of the cart and destroy the cart because you don't want to leave always destroy your carts when you get them other otherwise you'll leave them on when your railroads get really big you'll be enjoying your railroad riding around all of a sudden you'll bump into a dead cart and it'll stop you and you'll have to get out and have to reset it so what we're going to do is we're going to build our next railroad uh here based on this uh and here again all i'm doing is laying track it chooses the corner if i do it on the end and Sure, I didn't miss any pieces. There we are. Now I'm going to have to get back up this side of the mountain. Well, as you can see, let me fly up here. So you, there's nothing there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a dirt block uh, right there, right? And then I can put a rail on it. Oh, see how it went down? And then let me uh, go down a little bit. I'm going to put two dirt blocks here. One there. One. Whoop. Am I not close enough? I'm going to put it right there. There you go put a block and here again I don't do anything special I just there we are now we've got our loop again but watch what happens because the physics in Minecraft is uh, pretty good and the thing is is I'm gonna lose energy running around my track so even though I went down the mountain I'm gonna lose energy running around my track and I'm not gonna have enough to get back up the other side uh, and then we go down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump out. And let's put it about right here. I'm going to guess. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Let's put that on there. Let's put a power rail here. There's a power rail. And we need power. So that's why we put a redstone torch next to it. Now our redstone torch is powered up. We're going to jump in the cart. Hit the W key to mosey us along until we hit the power rail. 
at least the moment. Now we've got enough energy to get back up the hill. So down the hill, around the track, power rail, up the hill. All right. So these are your two methods. And here, here again, I'm going to put the hopper on there. Just bump it, knock it off. And now we can watch our creation. Actually, if you go up, you can get a sort of a bird's eye view if you fly around of your railroad creation. And this is all I wanted to talk about on this video is how to lay track, how to get your corners, and how to add propulsion. Now I'm going to, let's see, let's uh, double click your spacebar. That'll drop you to the ground. We're going to get rid of our cart. I'm going to add one last feature, and that is how do we go diagonally? Because as we saw, when you lay track, it only goes 90 degrees, north, south, or east, west. But if we put a corner here so that it turns to the left, and then we go straight, and then left, and then straight, and then left, and then straight, notice it creates this wiggly track. But when we actually ride over it in a cart, watch what happens. It actually behaves like a 45 degree diagonal. So we hit the W key, propel ourselves up to our thing, and here we go. All right, now we're going up the mountain, down, and diagonal. There we go. Back on the 90 degrees. Up the mountain, down, and along the diagonal. So let's hop out, destroy our cart. Let's see, let's take a look at it. Put the hopper cart on there so you can take a look at it from the outside. And as you can see, it very smoothly comes down the diagonal. It doesn't do a wiggle along the diagonal. There it is. So that's how you do your diagonal tracks. And you can do diagonal tracks all day long. There you go. And now, the last thing. Oops. I was trying to destroy the cart because what I want to do. And this is the beauty of Minecraft railroads as opposed to model railroads, is we can change it at the drop of a hat. So we're just going to go ahead and make a little loop here, go around, and come back here. There we are. And let's put our hopper back on it. Bump, and off it goes. Ah. Uh, Okay, we don't have enough energy to make it around. Oh, look how slowly it goes. Let's see. Oh, we just made it. Let's let's give it one more try. All right. Now, this is the beauty of not making your entire railroad out of powered rails. Uh, some railroad designers like to do that because it gives you a constant speed around the entire railroad. What I'm going to have to do, this isn't working very well, so what I'm going to do is add me a, uh, another powered rail here to, uh, whoops. All right, let me uh, push it along. Boom, there it goes. Now with two powered rails, it'll now keep it going at a fairly constant rate. Let's see, I made the track too big with too many corners. Corners also take energy out of your trade. So there's nothing to it. If, if it doesn't work in your first iteration, adjust it a little bit. So you can, it's very easy to play with your railroad, revamp it, or to add extra features to it. All right. Well, this is all I intended to cover here on the first episode. Uh, try some of these techniques out if you're new to the, to the railroad. Uh, try to build yourself a small railroad. And what we will be doing is adding new and increasingly difficult features to this railroad. And you can add them on in your experimental railroad. Or take the, the little bit of knowledge you've gotten here today and build a great big railroad that just wanders all around your world and then sit on it and ride it around and enjoy the natural scenery of war of uh, minecraft i apologize so have a good day i hope you enjoyed the video and i look forward to seeing you on the next one